Okay. First things first, your initial reaction. My initial reaction is it's l probably l largely e expected. Um, it's, it's a, it was a horrific incident. It was racist. It was demeaning. Um, and unlike if you compare it to, to Penny Sparrow, she pleaded not guilty. She, in other words, the, ca the court had to go through the entire process and determine the matter. Um, her defense, as we heard, was, was that she'd been the victim of a crime and she was not in a good state of mind. But the nature of the event, and I think most of us at some point have heard the video on it, was, was, was really extraordinary. So we're not, I'm not surprised that there's, there's been a jail sentence imposed. Mm -hmm. Uh, with regards to it being appropriate, of course, it has been described as a landmark mm -hmm. uh, ruling or sentence that's been handed down, uh, setting some sort of a precedent going forward. And without there being something like this have happened before, there is no uh, necessarily a benchmark that has been placed around, um, you know, a, a ruling such as this. Mm -hmm. With that being said, is it appropriate? It's very Difficult to tell, uh, to be quite honest, um, having not sat in the, ha having not sat in the court. But again, if you, uh, some people will say that imprisonment of that length was is harsh. Mm. Um, some not. I think the question of whether it was har too harsh or not too harsh w w would ultimately be. De be uh, uh, d uh, defined by the, s by the appeal court. Mm. Let's discuss generally race relations mm. in South Africa. Mm. Um, race relations is it, it, it's it's in a strange position at the moment because on the one hand, very few people, according to our research, are affected by race. Race does not impinge on their daily lives at all. But there's no doubt that in the last two or three years, since the issue of race has become very public and debated, and 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 very strong opinions have been formed you are hearing more and more comments about the extent of racism, is there racism, or how, what is the racism, is it untenable, is it only black, is it only white, or is it both? Those conversations are being, ha are, are being held much more. So people are very much conscious about the subject of race and speaking on it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, going forward, you know, many would say that this, in some instances, is a reflection of minority and how the minority continue mm -hmm. to see uh, you know South Africa is this the case I certainly hope not and I certainly don't think so I think it's it, it has to be seen as the opinion of a single person because I don't, I, I don't know many white people who would want to be associated in any way with what she said or did what I do think it does open up though is it does open up the possibility of crim and injuria which are which is criminal defamation, that's why it goes to a criminal court, of criminal ju uh, injuria being, a, being used against people who say things that are racist or perceived to be racist. And that will be both black and white. Mm. And it does certainly, it, it's very public, so it's certainly going yeah. to come to the fore. We're definitely going to be s seeing a change now in people expressing their views as per se with regards to race going forward. Uh, do you think that uh, this judgment was good in, 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 the, in the presence of, of society and moving forward and going forward? I think it, it, it was an unsurprising judgment and it, it was good in the sense that it found, it seemed to find what the evidence presented. How, how it's going to play out in future is very difficult to tell, whether it will stop or limit that sort of pub, uh, behavior in, in public, which is really what, what you're aiming for. You can't dictate what people do in private. Um, or whether it will cause people to be more aggressive and to test the system, mm -hmm. it's very difficult to tell. But hopefully just to you know, let people know that it is wrong. Yeah, and absolutely. it can be brought to law because it's wrong. Yeah. Thank you very much for joining us so this morning. That was uh, Sarah Gom from the uh, South African Institute of Race Relations just unpacking some of the reactions there of the judgment handed down on convicted racist uh, Vicky Momberg sentenced to three years in prison, one of which will be uh, suspended. Well, remaining with that.